Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the first knife exotic ship in Destiny 2, which is the current ship that I'm using right now. Now the way that you get the first knife exotic ship is by completing all 11 paranormal activities on the map. Now if you do not have a paranormal activity on the map, that means you have not completed the Alone in the Dark quest. Now the alone in the dark quest can be completed multiple times. If you complete multiple at once before doing your first paranormal activity, they will stack up, but there will only be one that gets shown on the map. Now the first one is going to be found in the impasse and you can just add a tracker to its location as it will take you exactly where you need to be. Once you get to the location, you should see a blue orb with a ring at the bottom. And once you interact with it, you'll get the aura of balance. Now you'll notice that there will be two blocks in the area, a blue cube and a red cube. Now you'll need to align yourself to where you can see both cubes from the position you're standing. Now the blue cube will be activated with a light weapon, which means you'll need to use a weapon that has solar, void or arc. And to activate the orange cube, you need a dark weapon, which requires you to have a weapon that has the strand or stasis element. So once you shoot, the one cube you'll get an aura around your person and now you need to stand in that aura because that is pretty much the space you have to move in order to align yourself once you're in position you can then go ahead and shoot the other cube and then the objective will be complete but in this video you can pretty much copy exactly where i stand there will be no difference so yeah you can just follow exactly what i do now the next paranormal activity is going to be found in the blooming once you get here after you commune with the ghost, you're then going to move forward and past the floating ghost, past this rock over here, you're going to see the blue cube. Now you're going to stand right technically beneath the blue cube and there you can see the red cube. So go ahead and use your weapon and then obviously you need to use the right light or dark weapon and then it should connect like that. The next paranormal activity is going to be found in the impasse. Once you're here and you commune with the ghost you'll see the red cube by this white monument you're just going to go across here to the stairs and you're going to go all the way to the back end right over here once you're set up here you should see the cube to the left and obviously then you can go ahead and shoot the cube to the right now the following paranormal activity is going to be in the lost city once you're here and you commune with the ghost you can then go ahead and move forward towards this building by the statue and you're going to jump on this back part of the statue you should see the blue cube at the top and if you look to the bottom right you should see the red cube now the next paranormal activity is also going to be found in the lost city now you want to head to the back left corner or back right depending on where you're standing and you should see this cage here now you'll see that the red cube is in between these trees so you're going to stand here and you should find a good gap between these gates to find the blue cube now the next paranormal activity you're going to find is going to be in the seclusion now it is going to be over here and once you get into the cave you're going to then take a left and just hug the wall of the cave now you're going to go all the way to the left just past this rock and you should see the cube right down here the red one and you're going to stand here exactly where i am and you shoot the red cube and you should be able to see the blue cube from here now the next paranormal activity is going to be found in the landing once you commune with the ghost you're going to jump onto this tree and you're going to see the blue cube there and the red cube is going to be underneath the waterfall so you can go ahead and then stand here and then shoot the two cubes as you can see it you just have to jump a little bit to get the other now the next paranormal activity is going to be found in the forgotten deep lost sector which is in the landing so once you commune with the ghost you're going to jump ahead and jump onto this platform right here now i do mess up the jump here but don't worry we're going to jump here and then jump onto this taller little air vent looking thing and as you can see the red cube to the right and then to the left is the blue cube now the next cube is going to be found in the blooming deep loss sector now once you get to the communing with the ghost you're going to run backwards from where you came and you're going to see by this prismatic aura you're going to stand here just beneath this cap and you should be able to shoot both cubes from here now the next paranormal activity is going to be found in the divide which is the snow area of the map once you get here, you can then commune with the ghost and you're going to want to go around the mountain and you're going to head all the way up. You'll see that once you cross the gap, there's going to be this broken airplane. You're going to stand all the way on the edge here and you'll see the red cube on the inside. And if you look to the bottom, you should see the blue cube and then you can go ahead and link them together to finish the objective. The next paranormal activity is going to be found in the refraction. 
so once you're here after you commune with the ghost you're going to head towards the trees at the back of here now you're going to want to climb up the trees because you're going to need to get to this rock that i'm about to show you so once you jump onto this tree you can then jump all the way to this slanted rock and now you should see the red cube is going to be in the corner there and the blue cube is going to be at the bottom right over here now, as you can see there's the blue cube and all the way by the waterfall is the red cube once you complete all the paranormal activities you want to go to your journey then go to titles and then the final shape and then you can claim all your rewards in order to get the first knife exotic ship this is what the exotic ship looks like it looks pretty cool in my opinion it's quite nice looking and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.